Dr. Lahiria, is there any reason to believe that today is a turning point? The fact that now we've actually done 80 lakhs in a day, can we sustain it through the key months of July and August ahead of a potential third wave? So as far as today is concerned, it indicates the potential of uh, daily vaccination in the country. It definitely conveys that if India want to scale up vaccination drive, it can do. But going beyond that, we know that uh, for month of June, there are around 12 crore vaccines available, which essentially means that for, uh, 40 lakh vaccination in a day can be done. That's the upper limit. Mm -hmm. Similarly, for July, we know that there will be 15 crore doses of vaccine available, which essentially means a daily average can be maximum 50 lakh doses a day. So this is not sustainable, definitely. So I would also uh, flag that uh, daily vaccination achieving a single day high peak is, has limited value unless we know that at least a weekly average of vaccination can be achieved, which is really sustainable. So for month of June and July, it cannot go beyond 40 lakh to 50 lakh a day. As far as future availability of vaccine is concerned, we know that the, most of these vaccines are uh, either in clinical trial stage. So what is being promised that a 10 lakh or uh, 10 million or 1 crore doses a day. If India want to achieve that, India need to produce 30 crore doses a month. Mm -hmm. And I don't foresee that that kind of doses availability before uh, September, late September, so these, early October. So, the numbers, so, that, having, so uh, the numbers that Zafar Islam has thrown at us, you think that they are unlikely? They are only, uh, they are more out of hope and wishful thinking. They do not reflect actual production and availability on the ground. Am I correct? I think the government itself has uh, clarified that most of the vaccines would be available starting October or November onwards. So the increase in the vaccination availability is starting late October. But we need to remember one thing, that uh, anybody who is vaccinated starting early October or mid-October is unlikely to receive their second dose. For example, COVID shield current uh, vaccination interval, dose interval is 12 weeks. So somebody who receives uh, first dose in mid-October is unlikely to receive the second dose in till early uh, 2022. So essentially, most of the population, most of the vaccine will be available in uh, late uh, part of the year. And if somebody, no matter which vaccine it is, somebody mm -hmm. is vaccinated with the first dose in December, mm -hmm. that person will be fully vaccinated only in 2022. So right. essentially, what we know that much of the supply toward the end of year, we need to remember that supply, for example, which become available in December, is not immediately utilized. There is a time lag between availability of supply and then utilization. So all of those are challenges there. Right. Let me go to the one more question which was discussed, that what proportion of uh, adult population will be can be vaccinated by end of the year? Mm -hmm. We need to break this into two parts. We remember that, uh, what, uh, that uh, many people cannot receive both shots if they start in mid-October or late October. So I personally think that uh, considering all the supplies available, which will be toward the end of year, not more than 70% of the adult population will receive single shot of the vaccine. And not more than 50% of the adult population will receive both shots this year. So those are your numbers. 50% of the adult population will receive both doses. 70% will receive a single dose as per the numbers that